We're going to use our Smith chart for part A of number one. And when using our Smith chart, if we relate to what we learned in transmission lines, we're going to make an analogy that the load here is material number three. So the load impedance is going to be eta three. And we want to normalize this with respect to the transmission line impedance, where the transmission line impedance is eta two. Material two is the transmission line in this, in our analogy. So I'm gonna take eta three divided by eta two, we get 2.65. And this is what we want to plot on the Smith chart. Then we need to know how far we're going to rotate it, this impedance dot. So we're gonna take D, which is the thickness of material two. So D divided by lambda two, because we want on the Smith chart, we want to rotate a number of wavelengths. So we need to find D in terms of wavelengths. So if we plug that in, D and lambda two, we're going to get uh, 0 0.4 wavelengths. And in this case, we're at the load and we're going to be rotating towards the generator 0.4 wavelengths. We're going to call the normalized eta three over eta two, we're gonna call that eta A because it's the input impedance at interface A. So here on this Smith chart, you can see the 2.65 is a real number, so it's along the horizontal axis and we've plotted that. And now, taking a straight line out from the center of the Smith chart, we're going to rotate towards the generator 0.4 wavelengths. We take the same distance from the center here as we had for eta A, and we're gonna label this eta B. Now we've transformed to our input impedance at interface B. So if we read off eta B on the Smith chart, eta B normalized is 0.87 plus J 0.93. So don't forget we want to denormalize. So we're gonna have A to B denormalized, and that's going to be 0.87 plus J 0.93. And that we're gonna multiply times A to two. And we get 123.5 plus J 132. In part B, we want to find the reflection coefficient for at interface B, which takes into account everything to the right of interface B. So we need eta B minus eta one over eta B plus eta one. And we just found eta B in part A. So if we plug that in, we're given eta one, we get 0.23 plus J 0.42, which we can convert to polar form, 0.48 at an angle 118.7 degrees.